in the past week, there has been a disaster in Hungary, a very sad one, in which the so-called red sludge from processing of aluminium has escaped from the pond where it was being held. And chemically, this has had quite serious consequences. So Hungary is a landlocked country right in the middle of the Europe. Its rivers flow into the Danube, which goes right across Europe and into the Black Sea. Hungary is also a country where there are quite a few minerals. And in this case, they were processing aluminium. Aluminium is a very common mineral or element. It's found all over the world in clays and so on. But there is a particular mineral called bauxite, which is hydroxide of aluminium, which is usually found mixed with iron oxide, rust to you and me, and titanium dioxide, which is what you get in white paint. And the processing is chemically pretty trivial. Everything is dissolved up in caustic soda, sodium hydroxide. And then out of this you get alumina, pure aluminium oxide, which is what processed to make aluminium. But this process generates a lot of waste. And the waste is red because it contains rust, so-called red sludge. And this is done in many places in the world, in Australia, for example, and you get huge ponds of this sludge. But Australia, by comparison with Hungary, is a very um, sparsely populated country. So the danger from these lakes is much less. And what happened in this tragic occasion is that the wall, which I think was made of mud, which retained this sludge, gave way, at least in part, and the sludge came out and seven people were killed. And I think probably, though I don't know the details, they're more likely to have been killed because they were engulfed in mud than because of any of the chemistry. But the sodium hydroxide makes the sludge alkaline. Alkaline is the opposite of acid. And because of the way, position of Hungary, there is a danger that the sludge can then get into the rivers and go all the way down to the Black Sea. Fortunately, sodium hydroxide is not a terribly dangerous chemical. It makes the water alkaline, and in principle, you can neutralize it by putting in some acid. But you've got to make the acid just the right amount, or you make the river too acid, which is just as bad. And when you mix it in, it's not like mixing acid in a beaker. You've got a huge river, so how you add it is quite difficult. About 10 or 15 years ago, there was a similar tragedy in Hungary where cyanide came out from a gold mine. And cyanide can't be neutralized and is far, far more poisonous. And it went all the way down the Danube to the sea, killing fish thousands of miles away from where it originated. So the problem in this case is that the volume of the red sludge is very large. In fact, it's possible that some more may come out after the first release. And so it is difficult to know what is the best way to treat it. But I think the take-home message is that whenever people are processing chemicals or minerals on a large scale, you have to think beforehand what will happen if something gets out, not wait for the disaster to take place, and then start deciding what to do. As far as I'm aware, by and large, the red sludge is just left. And nobody is quite sure what to do with it. Eventually, I think the red sludge could be treated with acid to make it neutral. But by and large, there isn't very much that can be done with it. And it is the price that we pay for using aluminium in our <coughs> takeaway microwave food, in our wrappers of sweets, and so on. One cannot obtain these riches from the earth without generating some waste. What we have to do is to try and minimize the amount of that waste 
and look after it carefully.